Hello YouTube, my name is Don Brandt and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to review the CNC Tools MGEHR 1212-2. This cutting tool uses carbide inserts and it comes 10 with the package. This item can be purchased on Amazon or eBay for about $20 with shipping. Here's a high speed steel cutting tool. This is an example of what I will be replacing with the carbide cutter. So here is the, the tool. Uh, it's got a uh, tightening screw right there. And there are the inserts. And there, this is the Allen wrench for tightening these up. So let's head on over to the microscope. On the bottom of the cutting surface, the carbide, you'll see a groove. Here's a close up of that groove. There's also a matching groove that's on the top side and these fit into tongues that are on the tool which keep the, keep the uh, cutting piece from falling out of the tool. Here's a close up of installing the carbide. So let's pull back a little bit and let's take a look at how we would assemble this carbide insert into the tool. Each insert has two sides so you can reverse uh, the cutting side. When one side wears out, you flip it over and you use the other side. So now that we have the uh, cutting edge installed into the tool, we'll go ahead and get the uh, mount for the quick change tool post and install the cutting tool into the quick change tool post. So now we'll go ahead and line this tool up. So I'm going to go ahead and put a, a dead center in here. We'll go ahead and turn this. And so we're just going to put this cutting edge right here on the tip of that. Okay, so now we'll tighten up the top screw here. As you can see, it takes me a little while to uh, get the tool at the correct height, matching up with the tip of the dead center. And before we get to the cutting demonstration, I just got to go ahead and give you a warning. I've got my priorities out of order today, which means uh, I have a little technical difficulties. So I'm going to leave it up to the viewers to uh, tell me what the problem is when they see it. I am going to give you a hint, though. It has something to do with the cross slide. So I have this piece of bar stock here. We're just going to do a test cut. Some of you may notice I'm back to Windows Movie Maker and not using Adobe Premiere and I'll tell you why here in just a second. So the problem with Premiere Elements has to do with what's called variable frame rate. If you have a variable frame rate video and you pull it into Premiere Elements, the audio will lose sync. This is a known issue and it's been an issue for a while. I'll leave a link to the problem uh, on Adobe's form below. You have probably seen what the problem with my setup is now. If you've caught it, go ahead and leave a message down in the comment section. Overall, I'm very happy with this tool for 20 bucks. Uh, it saves me from having to sharpen uh, high-speed steel, which I'm not very skilled at. Here's the final cut and the piece that's left over. If you enjoy my videos, please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.